Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Four. We are learning Unit One. Its title is Speaking the Truth. Today is Lecture Six, and my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, print it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver this lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today is lecture six and we are going to read and understand the text part two and we'll cover page number six, seven and ten of your book. Before this, in English for grade three, I have taught you to arrange words in alphabetical order. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video again. So today we'll learn further and we'll use alphabetical order to locate words in a dictionary for an increase in vocabulary and aid in comprehension of text. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in Surah Ahzab verse 70, O you who have believed, fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. Yes, my dear students, you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning to speak words with justice. What justice does mean? It means to place a thing on its appropriate place. So whenever we speak, our words should be appropriately arranged. That, that will be justice with words. So this is what we are going to learn today. Let's start our today's lesson. First, you tell me, yesterday we re read the first part of this uh, chapter. Do you remember? What did Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah Khatimul Nabiyin Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sahabi Wa Sallam say to the man? Do you remember? A man came to Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He discussed that I do every bad thing. What should I do? So what did Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reply? Pause the video and answer the question to your teacher. Yes, my dear students, I hope all of you remember what our Prophet said. So let's continue reading from the second last paragraph. Open your book on page number six. I'm going to start reading from this point. The next day, he wanted to have some wine. When he was about to do so, he again thought, what shall I say to Hasrat Muhammad Rasulullah Khatimul Nabiin Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sahabi Wa Sallam? If he Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sahabi Wa Sallam asked me what I did during the day, I cannot tell a lie and if I speak the truth, people will condemn me for drinking wine. Yes, my dear children, first day he, he thought to go out for theft, but he'd stop because of his promise. Next day he thought to take some wine, but he stopped because of his promise. And why, why he uh, thought so? He said, if I'll tell the truth, people will condemn. Now here, I want to know what this word condemn mean. I don't understand it. So whenever while reading, you find a word which is difficult for you, you can use a dictionary, and I'm going to tell you how to use a dictionary. The dictionary is alphabetically arranged. You see the first page, the first word starts with letter A. So in dictionaries, we find these letters on a corner, and these letters are arranged the way. What alphabetical order means? The way letter comes in ABC. So the first letter of ABC is A. So all the words starting with A are here. Then we go for the second letter. So now look at this word. This word condemn starts with C. Okay, so we'll go first, we'll go to C part of the dictionary. Here I go, A. So the letter B is coming here. You see, and C comes here, okay? When I reach to C, I'll see I'll find which is the second letter, that is O. So I have to go to O, all right? So it, this is, here it is CA. I'll go to the page till it comes CO, quickly. We have to do it quickly. 
All right. Now we know scanning technique. I've taught you. When I reach to C O, then I'll find the third letter N. Okay. So when I reach to N, then I go to fourth letter D. Usually till here we find the word in dictionary. Okay. So I'll keep on scanning where C O C N, and now I have to go to C O N D, and that's here. That's here. The third word of this page here i got it it's written here all right now i when because i have located this word i'll read the meaning because i want to understand what this word means to comprehend my text so this word means to express very strong disapproval all right so what does this word condemn mean here condemn mean to express complete disapproval which nobody likes all right so this is how my children whenever you find a difficult word you can pause reading you can use a dictionary and after understanding we'll start reading further all right so he said people will condemn means disapprove me for drinking wine thus he gave up the idea of drinking alcohol in this way whenever the man thought of doing something wrong he would remember his promise soon he gave up all his bad habits and became a good muslim this this incident has been mentioned in tafsir al kabir 16168 now you see by just stopping telling a lie he left all bad habits what happened next so the last paragraph is people trust a man who speaks the truth they respect him and accept every word of his to be true on the other hand if a man tells a lie he loses regard in the people's eyes it is one thing and the other is allah almighty almighty allah is also displeased with a liar i've told you many things in introduction chapter about this point i hope you remember if not you may watch that video again so a true person has peace of mind while a liar remains unhappy and worried therefore we should practice truthfulness in all times and situations if we always remain truthful allah will help us in doing good deeds we shall be rewarded here and in the world hereafter all right so now you tell your teacher why should we always remain truthful there are many benefits we have discussed so pause the video and answer this question to your teacher Yes, my dear students, I hope now all of you have answered this question. So next is page number seven of your book. There is a comprehension question answers. Now all of you open your notebook and write the answers of this question in your notebook. Pause the video and do the comprehension. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. So next is a very interesting activity I have for you what we are going to do now all of you will arrange these words these are on page number 10 of your book so these are in different order than they should be okay so you have to arrange these words in four set alphabetical order in your notebook so you have to do it quickly you will read the word the first letter what comes first in abc you will write on first so the first is A, there is no word starting with A, the second is B, so here B, it will come on first, the next is C, so it will come on second. Quickly arrange it in your notebook. Pause the video and enjoy this activity. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Okay, we are not yet done. Here is um, homework for you, what you are supposed to do write the meaning of these words from dictionary and make 
meaningful sentences of these words. So you know how to use dictionary. These are the words you will find their meanings from the dictionary. You will write them in your notebook and then you will make sentences of these words. And here I'm giving you a worksheet. These are the words. First, you will put the following words in alphabetical order. And here you will write the meanings of these words from dictionary. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, print it, and kindly give a printed worksheet to children for practice. All right, my students, so what we have learned today, we learned to arrange words in alphabetical order. We learned to locate a word in a dictionary, and we also learned to comprehend text by searching meaning of difficult words in dictionary. So in this way, we achieved our today's SLO, that is use alphabetical order to locate words in a dictionary for an increase in vocabulary and aid in comprehension of text. Are we done with it? Yes, and we enjoy doing it. So that's it today for today. Tomorrow I'll come again for a very, with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning. Take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.